this. This is going to be going for history books. Call that one one. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love All-American, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now, today we'll be talking about All-American Season 4, Episode 7. This is my quick thoughts, early impressions of Episode 7. It was prom night, but the night did not end well for Coach Baker's father. Um, it was sad. It was sad. Uh, it was rumors going out there that it was saying that something major was going to happen to one of the characters and you know coach Baker's dad he was pretty much out of it at the end of the episode he was not breathing at all um and sad part about this y'all we won't be able to see all american until next year this was the last episode of the year um that's what i heard so we're not going to be able to see the show and see the conclusion of all of this until next year i believe they're filming um episode 10 or 11 or something like that but they're still filming this season and we got to wait to see the aftermath i mean overall this was just like one of those fun episodes wasn't nothing major really happening like that we did get introduced to some new characters your boy asher he got him a new, another new little chick um and we know uh, your girl layla she was kicking it with the uh, new producer dude that we know jordan did not like they pretty much just continued to build up on this whole storyline between the two we know that jordan he really likes Layla and he was trying to go talk to her um, at the end of the episode, but she was too busy, you know, kicking it with the new producer dude. So we're going to see how that all plays out. Your boy Spencer, he back on this save everybody type deal. Y'all know how Spencer is, man. He took the fall for the team. I don't even know why Crenshaw decided to go to Beverly and take the take the trophy. On top of that, they are the ones that caused, caused the flood at the school so they had to cancel their prom we know that some of them end up going to uh crenshaw's prom and kicked it there but still we know at the end of the day uh spencer took the fall for it and principal carter talking about he may get expelled if you know this is all true so it ain't looking too good for spencer hopefully nothing happens to him i mean i don't really see it be a, being a very big deal especially after how everything else happened. I mean, they're going to try to build it up like something serious is going to happen. But as far as that, that's going to be good. My main concern is um, Coach Beggar's Pops Willie. Hopefully he is good. As I told you, um, a lot of fans were saying they can just tell based off the preview that somebody was going to get hurt. And it really did look like someone's going to get hurt in the preview. We just didn't know who it was. Um, also in this episode, we know Coop and patience they won the prom queens yes it was a prom queens this is what they won um we thought it was going to be olivia and spencer but no it was coop and patience i seen a lot of fans saying like man how did your girl coop win that and she don't even go to crenshaw no more she got her ged she ain't even at the school but she got it i guess they wanted just to show her love um i didn't really have too many problems with that um we know that preacher's daughter amina she was pretty much telling him look she know that Coop killed her mom. She's like, look, I know she did it because she's willing to do whatever for her friends. And I believe that she did it. The sad part is she doesn't know the truth. And the truth is that her pops killed Mo. You know what I'm saying? So this little girl, man, she is trying to dig and find out the truth. I thought she was going to pull some stuff this episode, but she had her own little tea party. And, you know, she didn't really do too much, but she was kicking it with patience, getting her own makeup together and you know her outfit together. But besides that, she didn't do too much but tell, um, preach how she felt about Coop. But overall, man, this was a solid episode. It was prom night. Nothing real major really happened throughout most of the episode until the very end. I mean, I was just watching it. Um, I didn't really see any major details up until the very end, you know, and hopefully coach baker's pops is cool and spencer is able to get out of this i, I do think he is but y'all know how spencer is man he is always trying to take the you know the blame or look out for his teammates i'm surprised they even went back at that school um on prom night ain't no way i would have went there i would have been like look we're gonna take the trophy back but um we're not about to do it tonight it is prom night and it would have been it we would have just took it back later on but spencer being spencer He's like, look, we got to go back and we have to do this right now. What would you guys have done? Would you have went back that night or would you have just waited? I would have just waited. 
It's no use for me to go in there right now on my prime night. It ain't about to happen. Um, overall, man, was, like I said, solid episode. Um, my quick thoughts, early impressions on Olivia. We know that she had to look out for Jen and Jen was going through some things. She has to admit that she has a problem. Luckily, she did admit that at the end of the episode, but she's going to need some support and help from Olivia, which I believe she is going to get. Now, I'm going to try to, you know, give you guys the full recap later on in this week. Um, so stay tuned for that. But you guys let me know, man, what were your quick thoughts, early impressions of this episode? How did you feel about it? And how do you feel about All-American taking another break? We're not going to be able to see it until next year. So we got some time, y'all. We got some time. But um, thank you guys for all the love, all the support. And I will catch y'all on the next one. But let me get up on out of here, man. It's your boy, Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.